Hi there, it's me Greeny for Greenbox and in today's video we're gonna take a look at a question I've got under a recent video and the question was is there a way to upscale video without it looking broken and I thought this is a pretty interesting question and in this video I want to show you four ways I do upscale my videos if I really need them to. So therefore I would say let's jump onto my computer and uh, we have a 720p video I found of me walking through a forest and uh, that's our example file. With that file we're gonna do upscalings to 4k. So let's jump into Premiere Pro and we have a 4k uh, canvas here with a 720p video in the center. And what most people do is they go in, they go to scale they say they want to upscale it to 430% or whatever 4K is, and bam, that's it. But as no name said, it kind of looks broken, it doesn't look right. So therefore, I'm first going to show you a way using After Effects. Here we have the same situation. We have a 4K canvas uh, with the 720p video in the center. And to upscale this video, we're just gonna use uh, Effect called Detail Preserving Upscale. And this is a built-in um, effect to After Effects. So if you own After Effects, you own that effect. So once we apply it, we can go to our effect settings and we can simply say fit to comp height. And now we have upscaled the 720p image to a 4K image. Yes, now it looks like crap, but once you rendered it, it will be fine. The next method we can use is using an external software and it's called Video Enhance AI by Topaz Labs. Those guys are pretty awesome. If you never heard of them, you should definitely check them out. I haven't bought the Video Enhance AI yet. I'm still, still on the beta version, which is still called Gigapixels for Video, but I can show you how that works. So we go to our source footage, we simply do a right click on it and say Gigapixel AI for video and say upscale to 4K. Once we did that, the software will launch and we'll start to do the upscale. While it's doing this, we will have a little um, preview window where we see at what frame the software is. Once it's done, it will quit and we will have an upscaled version of the video we just said we want to upscale. So that's Video Enhance AI, which is using an external software to do it. And the next method is also using an external software, but it won't cost you anything besides some time. And this is called Video 2X. Video 2X is a software based on WIFO 2X and WIFO 2X is well known for its image upscaling capabilities. Um, the only thing which is kind of a bit tricky is the installation, but if you want to give it a try, go to the link in the video description below and follow the step-by-step -step guide which you can find here. Once you did that, you will be on a good path. When you install it, once it's done, you can simply start the Python script, which is launching a small GUI. And there you will be able to select your source file. In my case, that's my forest source file and open it. You can specify a separate output directory if you want to, and then say what's your target resolution. In my case, that is 4K. And once you did that, you can simply hit start. After that, the script will start to run and will upscale frame by frame and in the end you will have an upscaled video of the ones you selected at your selected output directory. Pretty cool, costs you nothing besides of a bit of time. But there is one more way I really want to show you because those ways we saw now they are pretty cool and they're pretty impressive compared to the results we got with a simple upscale in Premiere Pro but if you want to have a, a sleek workflow and you do not want to leave your editing software, in my case Premiere Pro, you should really give this one a try. Go back to Premiere Pro and this time we're gonna apply an effect called Instant 4K. Instant 4K is made by Red Giant and 
sadly it isn't free it costs a bit of money but the prices are in my opinion okay if you only want to have the effect it's like hundred dollars once it's, it's a one-time payment and if you want to be a bit more fancy you could still go for red shine complete which is 600 a year but it's a pretty awesome bundle and in some 4k you take the effect apply it onto your clip and then go to your effect controls there you will find the 4k output size and even though this effect is called 4k you can use it to scale into every other resolution than 4k but hey, I guess 4K is just the best word which sells best, so <laughs> therefore we're gonna upscale this 720p to 4K. Okay, so that's basically it. We just upscaled this 720p footage to 4K. Of course, it isn't looking great right now, but once we render the effect, it's going to be awesome. And for exactly that reason, I just created this clip which is showing all the results of each method. Okay, so you just saw the results and in my opinion, the Gigapixel for video or new, the Video Enhance AI was uh, the best result, followed by Instant 4K, then After Effects and in the end, Video 2X. Now, to my recommendation for you, if you want a sleek workflow where you don't want to leave outside of, let's say, Premiere Pro, I highly suggest you go for Red Giants instant 4k just because it is such a great workflow it's an effect inside premiere pro and the result is good if you do not want to spend money but you do already own the adobe creative cloud i highly suggest you go with the after effect solution it's basically an effect which is there which you own and which gives a good result but it still isn't requiring you to spend money if you do not own After Effects, I recommend you go for Video 2X, as long as you don't want to spend money on it. And if you want the, in my opinion, best result, then I really recommend you to think about spending the 300 bucks on uh, Enhanced Video AI. Because what Video Enhanced AI is doing different to all the other tools is the other tools are watching the pixels and trying to figure out where which pixel belongs and how it should be drawn that it looks still sharp while video enhanced ai is using artificial intelligence to understand what the content of the image is and therefore can upscale certain things way better than others but there's a last but if you just upscale video mostly it's enough to simply use a simpler upscaler like the After Effects one because you would not notice the difference if you don't compare the both to each other. So therefore it's really up to you which one you want to use. Alright so I hope this video helped you with this specific topic. In case it did please leave a like or even a comment. I always like to read about people which are saying hey this video helped me to do whatever I showed in the video. It's, it's awesome it just showed me that this video wasn't for nothing. And in case you do not want to miss any further videos, please subscribe to this channel. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. I'm Greeny. This is Greenbox. See ya. Wait, isn't there an end card or something? All oh, right. Um, there are there are videos which you can click now. And in case you haven't, you can also subscribe. Bye.